Hey everyone, welcome back. It's day four of my 31 day EMF minimalism challenge. I'm here in my utility closet where I have my breaker panel, my modem, and my router. These three pieces are really um, the most important thing for anybody who is trying to reduce their exposure to electromagnetic radiation. I'm just going to give you a brief overview right now and later on this month I'm going to cover these things in more detail. My cable modem is sending an internet signal through this ethernet cable to my router and then my router has three wires coming out of it which are sending internet signals to the rest of the house and so my router has no Wi-Fi enabled but I really don't want to turn it on because Wi-Fi is not healthy so most people when they think about electromagnetic radiation they think of wireless like cell phones or cell towers or they think of magnetic fields like uh, power lines or substations. I talked a little bit about dirty electricity in day number one. The main advantage of understanding your breaker panel is that you can then reduce your exposure to a fourth form of radiation called electric fields. These are all of the circuits in our house. Right now we have the refrigerator on, we have the office on, we have this light on that is lighting me up, and then we have two other circuits that are powering the modem and router. Everything else is off, and the reason that is is because by having them off, it cuts the electric field to all of those circuits and if I was about to go to bed right now what I would do is turn off that circuit and turn off that circuit and leave only the bare minimum on in the house. What that's going to do is allow your body to rest as we evolved to rest not surrounded by 60 hertz AC electric fields and most importantly by avoiding these electric fields we can then create melatonin which is really a crucial hormone for our overall health. Um, it helps prevent cancer, it helps us have energy, it promotes our immunity, you can essentially live a quasi off the grid lifestyle even though you are still on the grid and during the day you can use all of your appliances, you can watch TV, you can use your computer but at night when your body is supposed to be resting and restoring and healing from all of the day's stresses. You really don't need electric fields getting in the way of that process. I'm going to talk more about this later this month, but for now, I just want you to figure out where your breaker panel is, see if there are any circuits that you don't need on most of the time, and grab a flashlight. And when it's time to go to bed, see how many you can turn off. I will see you tomorrow. Take care and sleep well.